What's up, man? What you up to? Ah, fighting, fighting, man. I'm fighting. All right. I'm on my way, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You're on your way for what? You can get shy for the camera. Oh, they shy, huh? I'm not shy for the camera. Really, my ass, too. Oh, man. Now, this is good. Here we go. Let's say hey, hi. Guys. <laughs> Here we are in Kimberly, and I'm at the big hole, the biggest hole in the world, the diamond mine. And right now we're about to watch a movie, so this is good. Okay. The diamond mine history. All this stuff took place. It's going all the way to 2000 here in Kimberly, South Africa. A lot of history here. The De Beers diamonds. And I seen the hole just now. So now I'm just in the little museum here. It shows how the hole was out there. Biggest man-made hole in the world. Got the different rocks. Earth's mantle is made up of pretty rocks. This is something inside of our earth. We definitely really pretty good. So I'm having a good time once again. Kimberly, South Africa. Biggest man-made diamond mine in the world. <laughs>
this one. Don't worry, I'll be in the villages soon. But right now I'm in Gabaron. The major city, capital city of Botswana. I'm taking my evening walk, and it is nice here with nice people. Here I am in beautiful Botswana, uh, Gabaron, which is the capital city. But when I got here, it was an adventure. But I found a nice guest house called uh, Corner La Villa Inn. And I'm showing it because I really appreciate the people. <laughs> really nice people. Like I said, I was talking to a group last night. There's more nice people all over the planet than what we call the sour grapes. I heard the kids in the neighborhood, they've been seeing me for a while. <laughs> oh, so they like holler and say, here he come, I guess it's the hat. <laughs> huh? Hi. What y'all doing? Hi, say hi. Hello. <laughs> All right. See y'all on the camera now. Hey, hey. hey. Hey everybody, they got a little gang around here too, all about the same age. Having fun, that's how we used to roll back in the day. <laughs> that's usually your uh, best lifelong friendships, is when you're in your youth like that. I still got friends that grew up back in the day to this day, and uh, we still remember those times. What? <laughs> hey, what's up y'all? But this is a nice neighborhood. And this is how Botswana, the housing and stuff. And there's so much land here in Africa. Africa is huge with so much land. It ain't like people are living on top of each other. So that's one thing I like about it. But like they say, it's usually the finances for development. Now here's the villa right here. Beautiful place, they got the lights on. And I've been having a real good time here. Real nice family, real nice people. People coming and going. And this is the corner La Villa Inn. <laughs> now, let's see what we got going on. La, la, la. Bye. <laughs> oh, kids having fun. So here it is, you come on in. There's our faithful security guard. <laughs> He's a tall one too, boy. So I feel safe. <laughs> What's up, brother? All right. And it's been raining, so I gotta come through here. But this is like the reception area. And they even got, if you want, the breakfasts or got things on their menu. It all depends how you wanna travel. But this is good. This is a nice area that I'm at because they got a mall not too far away. And the infrastructure in Botswana is actually new. It has a real good success story. So I'm really surprised at the energy of this place. And again, this is going to my room area. Then we go right there. Real nice guest house. Nice, cozy. And I'm in the back here. Oh, let me show you what the rooms look like. Uh, uh, let's see what we got here. Only if I could find my key if I only had a brain. And I've been having a nice time though. For some reason, I do stick out like a sore thumb. Maybe it's the hat. <laughs> and then here's the beautiful rooms. This is real good here. La, la, la. La, la. Got a tub. Now that's something when you're traveling. I was so taken advantage of that. <laughs> Just to soak in there to get this body ready for the next run. So once again, <clears throat> peace and blessings, had a best day.
Oh, this is crazy. I'm here in uh, Gaborone, Botswana, and today the high is going to be 90 degrees Fahrenheit, but the low is going to be 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the thing about it is, at night where it gets 65, that's like 18 degrees Celsius, people are asking me, am I cold? And I can't believe this. What you mean am I cold? And they up there talking about being cold. You mean to tell me 65 degrees, which is 18 degrees Celsius, is cold to the people around here? But then I got to tell them where I come from in America is wintertime right now. And being in the wintertime, there's snow and all this other stuff, smoke coming out your mouth. So it's amazing how the body can adapt to something. I am actually hot around here, especially at night where it's uh, 65 degrees. To me, that's like good weather. And they are actually walking around with jackets, sweaters, shivering. This is wild. But that just shows you the human family, how we adapt to different temperatures. Peace and blessings. is like the world's most unkept secret, best unkept secret, because it is really nice here. Crime laid is down, everybody's nice, all of this stuff going on, and they really got a lot going on, beautiful people, nice and orderly, and all this stuff is going on. This is actually one of the best countries so far that I've been through on this level, especially to be a big city like this. This is like the capital of Botswana and it is so mellow. This is so awesome. That sunrise over there, and I'm just taking me a walk right now. It ain't even rowdy at night. This is awesome. Now here we are at the airport to pick up Kima Kerry. She's the monk nun, and she's going to take off with me here in a couple days to go through Botswana. Plus, they got a Buddhist temple here in Botswana, so she wanted to check that out. So it all kind of right on time. This is my buddy right here, showing me everything I need to know. <laughs> you can say hi and introduce yourself. Hi. He also got the guest house. So when you come here, he'll really take care of you, show you the place answer all your questions and they got the wonderful guest house we already advertised on the video so peace and blessings <laughs> all right so i broke my last van so now i got to replace it you know to keep the guns going look at that look at that look at that but anyway <laughs> now you want to say hi for helping me <laughs> she said i'll show you just where they at well here we go but we gotta keep our swole on huh got our gifts, peacock feathers, the male and the female. We jamming. But they got the peacocks all around here. There's some over there by the car. As you can see as we get a little closer. Oh, they're awesome. And then we got a bunch over there, and they actually stay here on the grounds. People take care of them. We got some good gifts. The real deal. Beautiful uh, Hindu temple here in Botswana. And they got so many different faiths here, but it's a good energy all around, whether if it's uh, the Christian faith, the Muslims, they got the Buddhists. Now we just found the Hindu temple and the en energy is really good. And the people are so nice, he's explaining all types of stuff. Oh, man. And then we asked him a question, guess how he, what he said. 
Well, first let's say hi, and then we can ask. <laughs> Which that's the truth. Oh man, this is beautiful. This is the beautiful calm neighborhood that we're at. This is Botswana. Beautiful, beautiful place. We'll be taking off in a couple days for our walk. And in the meantime, we're just resting up, just allowing all these energies to stimulate us and soak in. Peace and blessings. Challenge me. It's, it's his fault. So now I got to do what I got to do. All right, hold on. Seven in the corner. No, that ain't going to do it. So seven back here. Ah, oh, man. He's playing some ball now. You'd have gave me another chance. I don't mean to be mean, but my name is Ali Tom Elamine. So here we go. All right, so now we're going on the side. We gotta take them all out. Showtime. Oh, no. Oh, man. Huh? Right, we got the music and everything. Ooh, no, no. Don't worry, we'll keep you on the updates. I'm about to take them out. So now here we are at a Buddhist temple in Gabaron. Like I said, they got the many different uh, faith groups here on many different levels. And this is beautiful. This is the Bahu Garden. They actually let us in to look at the place and let's go explore. We can even get some good meditation going on. Oh, this is awesome. Wa la la. Uh, so, um, the wildlife sanctuary. Here in Botswana. We're all having a good time. But we're going to go see their chalets. We had to sign paperwork just in case. <laughs> so they won't be responsible. <laughs> as we go through the bush. So here we go again. Traveling through. There's a zebra back there. So we're at the wildlife sanctuary. Sorry I missed them. I couldn't get my video fast enough. La la la. La la la. We are La La Land. La 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 La
La la land. Also, the Soleil's is way back here. Oh my god. They go right there. This is the big day. Me and Kimacheri. Kimacheri. <laughs> That's the pronunciation for the Italian language, huh? Pali language. Pali language. And we're on our way to Head northeast. first village, Machudi. And Machudi is about eight hours from here. That's straight walking. But we'll be taking our breaks throughout the day. Here, yeah, I can get to key. La la. Well, good to see you, brother. Say hi. He took care of us. You see how tall he is, so we weren't scared of nothing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're on our way to Matruti. Yeah. So we'll we'll see you soon in the future. <laughs> we'll meet again. Uh oh, how you open this? Oh. I was trying to pull it right here. See, I did it you already. Look at this. <laughs> so, the, so the sun is, we beating the sun, is coming up. The moon is still full up there. Oh, we on our way. Jamming. <sighs> Day number one. This feels so good. Turn right toward Araswali. We'll keep you updated. Bye. <laughs> here we are, we finally making it through the city and we hitting our main road, A1. And that road up there will basically take us straight to Machuti. And it's been a nice walk. It's a whole different terrain in South Africa where there's a lot more greenery. South Africa, we're walking through a lot of deserts on some of the videos going through the farmlands. So this is a lot more greenery. Hey, what's up, brother? So this is the road. We'll be taking it all the way up, six hour walk. We already knocked out two hours, so this is good. We'll be taking a break soon. Well, you wanna take a break now? All right. <laughs> but we'll be on here for a while, so we at least can get some shade. So we'll do about another half hour. Wherever we land at, that's where we land at. So this is good once again. La la, nice people all over the place.
right on schedule. Here's the side of the road. There's little stores here on the road. But this is cool because on the side of the road, we found this place to get out of the sun and we chilled out for about four hours. <laughs> but back here, we actually see people pull up, you know, they'll buy something from there. And this is like, people gotta use the bathroom, they'll go back on these trails. I say, oh, this is something. I guess if you gotta go, you gotta go. But other than that too, they go all the way back here. This is the bush. But this place actually saved us too because we had a nice, good rest. See, it ain't about breaking your neck. You're trying to break a record. We did some good walking this morning and uh, rest here about three or four hours. And then we'll take off again. But that sun is booming up there, you know, especially around noontime where it's the highest peak. So right now it's going on two o'clock. We'll see how the weather is. Uh, if we don't take off then, you know, three o'clock, four o'clock, we got all evening. But we did a dip, good, um, let me see here, 10 miles. In other words, 16 kilometers so far. So that's good. And we got this evening, so we'll hit another 10, 15, and we good to go. That's all we're happy with. And it's beautiful because like i said just being out here we're meeting so many people just being here so now we got to figure out too this evening where we're going to camp at so there's two routes up here we can keep this busy road but it's usually dangerous to stay out here so there's another road that cuts in we'll take that way and see what happens peace and blessings and like i said botswana's pretty built up here we're still walking on this one walkway going straight down but they got all these businesses on the side and all this other stuff. Uh, industry. We got the goats up ahead of us. Cows is on the other side of the street. So we're having a good time. This is Botswana. They got a full team. And they're going across this busy street. We didn't see them cross already over there. They're waiting on their buddies. They know how to do it too. And they're intelligent. They see us with the phone. Hey, what you doing? You want to come to us? Why is it across the street? <laughs> yeah, they waited for us to go away. Bye. Just made it at our destination. She goes show us the camping place here. So again, if you're ever in this wonderful place going to Mashidu outside the outskirts, hey, Nitifo. That's how you pronounce it. Nitifo. Oh, look at the beautiful dogs. <laughs> hey. 
Look at the beautiful doggies. Hey. <laughs> Those are big ones too, boy. Like little horses. <laughs> oh man, this is good. So wait, look at this, we up here camping with the baboons. So we're going to have the huts and all this other good stuff. Just keep my chilling. Hey. <laughs> Oh, but it was way back here in the land where we got to stay. This is awesome. There they go again. I got a feeling we're going to have a good time. We'll be here for a week. Oh, there's a lot of them up there. Yep, we found us a gold mine. We're here at this one land, and it takes about 20 minutes just from the front gate just to walk back here. And me and Kima got the place to ourselves. And there's animals back here. She said, no, I ain't afraid of animals, are you? Got the snakes, porcupines, the baboon family. Oh, and there's a lot of them, so I'll have a lot of videos on them coming up will be here. They like coming out at a certain time. And look at this. Energy is high here. And this is in wonderful Botswana next to uh, Oh, Don't worry, I'll get that name. <laughs> but anyway, I wouldn't mind having a gathering here. That walk we just did for Gabarone to Madishu. That's what it's called. This is on the outskirts of it, so it's real peaceful here. And a lot of people come here just to get away. There's a woman down there now got a room. She just wanted to get away from her job just to chill out for a minute. This is beautiful. We're up here. And like I said, I wanted to start from the beginning, but that would have been too long of a clip here. <laughs> And I'm about to get me, it's about one o'clock now. So the sun is blazing. Oh, and it is blazing. So now, since I get my tent hooked up and stuff, we're gonna go get us some good meditations, chill out. Because we walked here this morning. We did it about, uh, what, 12 kilometers. And we knocked that out like it wasn't nothing. It's the second day our bodies is doing it. And I believe that's sort of like, uh, let me see, eight miles just to come here because we slept in, uh, off the road and found a good place. But this is the open. I wouldn't mind having a good gathering here. We got the hut there for a gathering room. We put tents all over the place. And this is in wonderful Botswana, Africa. Oh man, this is good. And the energy coming from the earth, we feel all of this. So our main goal again, being here for a week before we take off again to the next town, is uh, we're going to keep pumping up our energies and cultivating. That's the main goal, cultivate. And if you don't know what energy cultivation is, this is the age where the information is all out there. The Tai Chi's, the yogas, the breath work, Oh, this is good. Exercising. Now, exercising, we use that term today. Our forefathers didn't need to because just by living your life, you should use your body. I, I literally meet people saying, I need to walk. I need to walk more. Oh my gosh. You should be walking. Here go Kima Carey, setting up her stuff. <laughs> That's her house over there. You see how they got the arm in there? So she always got the, how they got it set up. You always have some type of shade. The baboons come down from that way. There they got the other huts there. And I got this side. We jamming, boy. 
But this is good, once again, energy cultivation. And that's a lifelong thing. It's not a destination. They say a path is for a journey, not a destination. Got the new solar panel, battery pack. It's charging up. And here I am. I got the part with the rock. This rock got some good energy. It's all about energy again. Relax and allowing your body to absorb by its nature. Ah, does it all the time. Get the stress and tension out of the body and lighten it. So once again, this is our journey. We made it. See you next time when I next go to our next town. But we also gonna have a video showing all the all the Modushu. And we was there this morning meeting wonderful people. So this is good once again. Peace and blessings. And Botswana, the people is, their motto is they do help one another. This is a whole nother energy because it got a different history. See, places where I seen where they had the apartheid and real deep uh, divides, even though the laws could be changed now, they have to go through a whole nother thing and it's another energy. Here, people got away from that. So they got their situations too, but the energy is totally different. Last night when we slept off the road, of course, I had to uh, be aware, but at the same time, we still felt safe. This is beautiful. Peace and blessings, we love you. Keep up the good work.